Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In this video, I'm showing you how we make this super cool sign on our Thunder Nova 51 laser. Stick around to see how it's done. This round piece of wood is a smaller version of this. We chose to cover it in masking tape because the laser is gonna cut out the shapes and then we're gonna paint them versus having the laser burn the whole design on the wood, which would be a lot of work on the laser and take a lot more time. First thing I need to do is place this on the laser bed and set the correct height of the laser. Now that we have the laser at the right height, I'm gonna move the laser out of the way and then go over to the computer and open Lightburn. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Lightburn. So now I need to take a new picture of my laser bed. To do that, I'm gonna go over here to the top right and click Update Overlay. As you can see, that is our project on the laser bed. So now I'm going to drag and drop our Triple L Rustic Designs logo into Lightburn. Now I need to make the logo bigger and trace the logo. In order to trace, I'm gonna right click and click Trace Image. Sometimes you have to adjust the threshold bar down here, but this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now, as you can see, we have the Triple L Rustic Designs logo ready to be lasered. I'm going to adjust the logo to fit better on our project and then head over and adjust the settings. Now that I have the logo exactly where I want it, I have to adjust the settings. So down on the bottom right here, I'm gonna click Cuts and Layers. So under Cuts and Layers, this is all the settings for my project. I'm gonna keep it in line mode, but under speed and power, I'm going to adjust that to 500 speed and 20 power. Now I'm going to come back to my project, click my project, right click and hit preview and it's going to show me what the laser is going to do. I can adjust this bar down here and it'll show me the process of making the design. And at the bottom here, it shows me the total estimated time and it shows 48 seconds. So now that I'm good with the design, I'm going to send it over to the laser. I'm gonna come down here, click laser, hit send, give it a name and hit okay. Now that I've completed the design in Lightburn and I've sent it over to the laser, I'm going to open the project on the laser and start burning. Over here on the laser system, I'm going to select our project. So I'm gonna hit file. And that's our project at the top there. I'm gonna hit enter. You can see all the specifics on the top right. Now I'm gonna close the door of the laser and start our project. As you can see, that only took 48 seconds. Let's open the door and see how it looks. All right, now let's take our project over to our project table and peel off the tape where we need to paint. Using a razor, I'm going to peel off all the tape in the areas that we're going to paint.
Now we have all the tape peeled off. We're gonna take it outside and paint it. All right, the paint we're gonna be using today is this Krylon Fusion All-in-One Primer in the color matte black. When you do these projects, you wanna put on a light coat of paint and multiple coats of paint. If you put too heavy of a coat of paint on, then it can bleed through the wood or under the tape. We'll let that first coat dry. We'll come back in a couple minutes and do our second coat. Our first coat is dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a second light coat. We'll let that second coat dry and then we'll come back in a few minutes and add our third coat. I'm going to let that third coat dry for a few minutes, bring it inside and peel the tape off. Our paint is dried, let's peel off the tape and see how it looks. And just like that, we have a beautiful sign. And so just to reiterate, the reason we did it this way is because if we chose the fill option on the laser, it would have taken the laser probably like an hour and a half to burn this entire sign. And without putting that much stress on the laser, we decided to do it the quick way. So we did just the line fill on here and then we were able to paint it. And this would probably only would have taken about 15 minutes if we weren't filming. So a lot quicker um, on our part. And I really like the way that it, this turned out. We're gonna put some hooks on it and hang it outside. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I hope you enjoyed watching the Thunder Nova 51 get to work. We love this laser here at our shop and it has been a complete game changer. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Thunder laser, there'll be a link in the description below this video. If you guys enjoyed this video um, or enjoyed how this sign turned out, please drop a comment in the comment section below this video. Also, I wanna know what you think about the fill version versus line version on making the sign. As always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you on the next one.